Hey there guys, it's Javier for another episode. You know what I want to talk about? This painting behind me. And you know who's here to talk about it? Oh hey, who's that? It's me. It's Emily Mercedes of Emily Mercedes Art. Isn't that cool? You know what she does? She paints. And you know what else she has? Oh look! Kids! Do you want to do a transition, Mila? Let's say I'm somebody that had, knows no idea of who you are. Give me a spiel of, hey, this is me and this is what I do. I'm Emily Mercedes Art. I actually, I'm married to your brother, Brian. I used to be the head editor of The Berry, which is the female version of The Chive, up until two years ago, and I quit that to be a mom and an artist because it's my biggest passion. You in college went for elementary education? Yeah. Yeah. Elementary ed and studio art. It was funny, two weeks into studio art, I was telling my dad, I don't, I don't really think I want to be a teacher. And they were like, well, we know. Because <laughs> you would only talk about art the entire time you were in school. And I was like, oh, I guess I didn't really realize it. It was just so front of mind. I loved being in the studio. I loved going to my classes. I loved going there on the off hours and just being a part of the artist community. So it was not a shocker to them. I was like, oh, you're not? surprised by me wanting to only do this but you know however many years ago that was not realistic now that social media is around it's way easier to just be an artist and make, make a living. decent living off yeah. of it so the timing wasn't quite there when I graduated and then I ended up in the internet world for a lot of years and then when I realized I, well, I have some reach here I could probably put some stuff out and see if people want to buy it and then I put some stuff out and then people said maybe I'll try that and then they've kind of stayed along for my journey. So I'm still definitely trying to build a name for myself, but... Emily Mercedes Art. Ding! When I saw that you were getting really serious about the artist thing, besides leaving your job to pursue it, was the 90 Days of Nostalgia. And I'll let you explain what 90 Days of Nostalgia is. For 90 days, I made a painting a day, every single day. There were little five by sevens all nostalgic, either a toy or a character, and I added a twist to it, ironic or funny, because I think that sometimes people take art too seriously. And then it was a great intro to making prints of these watercolor and pen and ink pieces mm -hmm. to see kind of what rose to the top, what people liked, and so I've had some best sellers, and then I realized once I got ousted from my studio, um, Q Mila being born, <laughs> this whole watercolor and pen and ink thing, um, took up a lot less space. I can carry it with me. I can bring it other places. I've even painted it like the YMCA before. I just come and carry all my stuff, I sit down and Love pop that. it out and get it out <laughs> and then leave. I started realizing, oh, I think I've got a thing going here with all the nostalgia. Maybe I should hone in more on bachelor pads and also nurseries, find some niche markets. You can walk into a store and buy a painting of a flower anywhere, but sometimes you want to hit yourself right in the feels with a piece of artwork, so yeah. I try to do that. to give advice to somebody that wanted to pursue art online, what would you tell them? The biggest thing is to just start. I feel like a lot of people feel like they need to get their ducks in a row. I need to figure out, am I gonna be an LLC or a sole proprietor or the tax stuff? You just have to start, put yourself out there, make a logo and make yourself look more legit than you actually feel. I had seven pieces in my Etsy shop and just started telling people about it. You realize, you gain more of your voice that way. You figure out what people are more interested in. You could spend all of your time on something you think is super epic and cool and no one cares about it. And it's eventually a waste of your time. But if you just listen to your audience, find your voice, start, make yourself more legit by looking more legit than you feel. Thanks, Javi. Yes. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Cheers. Boom.